there. So, I'm gonna go over the cost of each and every element and component of my setup that I have bought in the past few months and see how much it has cost me in total. Interesting. <laughs> right, let's get into it. First on the list is the levitating globe. It uses electromagnets and balances of the force of gravity to allow the globe to float. This cost me £50.50 and, £50 and it's a great addition to the desk. To the left I have the Elysian Bluetooth speakers. These aren't anything special and produced a modest sound, but they fulfill my need and look pretty cool with the transitioning light effect. These set me back £30.99. And and In the centre I have a 2.4G wireless Jellycomb keyboard. And, well, it's just a pretty nice keyboard. <laughs> I also coordinated this with a white silicone mouse. And put together, these cost me £49.99. Over here is a Trust GXT mic. This is value for money. It honestly produces a very reasonable sound quality. And it's versatile in its uses, i.e. narration, streaming, voice recording. It's a great all-rounder. This also costs £29.99. So here's another Jellycomb product, it's a 1080p HD webcam, which I primarily use for video conferences and Teams meetings. I originally bought this for £37.99, but it seems to be on offer as of today, 27th of January. I was slightly reluctant to include these as part of the setup scene as they are non-electrical, but as it forms such a prominent part on my desk, I included them. So these are Newton's balancing balls, and these are basically just an aesthetic feature just to liven up things and this cost me 15 pounds i think it's worth it it's quite fun to fiddle around with at times that is towards the front i have a 11,200 milliamp juice power station which i use predominantly to just charge my watch this sent me back 24 pounds 99 next on the list i have my rather large mouse pad this has integrated ambient lighting as you can see um, there's so many different modes and so many different colours. Probably only just beaten by the colours to choose from inside a Mercedes S Class, which is no bad thing. But still, seeing as I'm often sat on my desk for hours at a time, it really helps to create a lively and effervescent work environment by enhancing the overall mood and ambience. I don't think I've ever used my PC whilst the lighting has been off. This mode right here is my favourite one, I usually have this on when I'm working. There's no real name for it, but let's just call it the pulsating and colour changing effect. And this cost me, once again, a very modest $29.99. Right, now for the meaty components. The heart of the system. Or oh, is it the brain? Anyway, let's not get to the philosophy of things. This is the Acer XC Aspire PC, running on an i5 Intel processor, which gives good performance for daily use and allows for smooth multitasking, as you'll see in a second. This cost me £550 at the time of purchase. I know I can get a better PC for that price, but it's always available at the time. And honestly, with a screen like this, you just need to have a PC which allows for efficient multitasking, you know, otherwise it'd be an impediment towards full advantageous use of the monitor. As you can see on the screen right here, I have six different programs open at the same time and they are just running really efficiently and it just allows for maximum productivity. As you can see in the corner, I have a cheeky car wow video open as well, um, just for the break times. <laughs> so this is the Samsung Ultra Wide and Curved 34 inch QLED monitor, which is a blessing at first sight because I was actually debating between a curved or an ultra wide and I got the two in one, so this is perfect. And at the time of purchase, when I bought this monitor, it cost me £749.99, and now it has been reduced on the official Samsung website to £729, and on Amazon you can get it even cheaper at £701. The monitor is honestly so versatile in its uses, from watching movies in 4K to ultra wide gaming video editing and professional music composing because it allows such a large surface area for you to work on the nuances in your musical compositions. <laughs> Beneath my desk I have an a real foot massager and it's one of the more unnecessary things as part of this list, but then again I have Newton's balls on my desk to my left, so... Hey ho! <laughs> it works pretty well, it has five different modes, you can change the pressure, you can change the strength, you can decide whether to add heat or not, and also there's a timer so you can actually pre-select the amount of time you want the machine to run for. I had just about enough room to fit this underneath my desk, and so I did. For those of you interested in reflexology, this is really good, it does work and it really is invigorating. You get a little printout outlining the pressure points on your feet 
and I have to say it's definitely worth the buy at £109.99 from Amazon. Now I did originally have a massage chair but it did actually hinder the amount of productivity and work I'd get done in that time for you know obvious reasons so I downgraded to this simple lightweight and comfortable swivel chair which cost £65. So then that brings us to the end of the video and that means I've spent a total of £1744.41 on my entire almost entire setup. So yeah, there you are. That's how much I've spent on my setup so far. If you found this video interesting, leave it a thumbs up and if you want to see more tech, gadget and product reviews in the future, including cars, subscribe to the channel. By the way, I'm not sure if you realised, but you know, he'd been here all along and uh, you know, can you, can you see the uh, resentment? Thanks for watching anyway.